Good morning. It is Jane with Scraptastic Yarns. A little bit of a haul. Um, as you know, we were going to uh, Hobby Lobby so that we could get yarn for the prayer shawl ministry. And I will tell you, it's awfully hard to get the amount of yarn that we need and to spend the money <laughs> we've received a grant. And so we're trying to spend that money so we don't have to give it back at the end of the year. Because it'll all go for yarn projects and things to help the community. But I had a little bit of a haul. That some things that I had purchased. And so I'm going to show you those. And then I'm uh, going to show you some things. We'll get to that in a minute. Whenever we go into Hobby Lobby, we always go through all the aisles to see what they have. Okay? Well, I found this cute little gnome. Stuffed gnome. And I was like, yep, he's going home. I don't know where he's going to go, but he's coming home. Every once in a while, you just have to buy a toy. Now, um, when we first walked in to... Hobby Lobby. <laughs> the assistant manager saw us. She waves. She goes, walks over and says, You know those two carts right there? Or three carts. There were three carts in the front. Those are all clearance marked yarns. And we said, Yeah, we're going to go through them first before we head to the back. And we did. But um, I didn't get any yarn for myself. Well, I'll explain that a little bit later. But, the yarn was on sale 30% off. So, um, when we were walking through, I have a dragon that I want to make. I'm a Garumi, so I got a light amethyst. I think that's what they call it. They just call this amethyst. And um, I thought for the belly I would do something a little bit different. And add some of the bird song in for the belly part. And now this clearance yarn was over by the yarn section itself. There's a clearance area back there that they have mostly sewing things and then occasional yarn things. And they did have two of that lovely lime color for $374. So I did pick it up. And um, I also needed to get some paintbrushes, a wider paintbrush. So I just grabbed the set here of the paintbrushes. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Had a little bit of a sneezing fit there. <laughs> um, and when we did get the yarn for the prayer shell ministry, we always aim for being able to spend about $600 in one whack. So, I am going to show you a picture of what $642 in odd change sense of um, yarn looks like in the baskets. All right, so included in that yarn were four skeins of the Yarn Bee um, Fireplace Comfort in this colorway. And this is called Waiting Weather. There were four of those, and one of them, you know, looks like this. That's okay, I don't mind un untangling it. Now I'm going to put these back in the bag. Now these are 70% um, acrylic and 30% wool. These are like the scarfy. So I picked those up to make some, um, took them out of the prayer shawl group, 
yarns because a lot of people don't like working with the wool and I don't mind. So I can make some hats and scarves. Now um, we also found three of these which I just brought home because they're that QIQ and this is Stormy Skies and it's 100% acrylic and these are you know the thicker bulky weight. I think it's number five. Well, I don't see where it shows the size. There it is. They call it a number six, I think. It is so... No, it's five. <laughs> but did get three of those, and I grabbed those because I like... I'm going to make a hat and scarf with those. Now, <laughs> when we get through Hobby Lobby and... We do that chopping for all that yarn and everything. It generally takes us 30 minutes to check out. And the way they do it is they put up on the conveyor, I mean we put up on the shelves, you know, those three baskets full of yarn, one at a time. Um, and then they just count them by whatever the price is. And they just count, you know, like there's 120 balls of this at this price. And then they give the discount that kind of thing but when we got some of the large big balls and I think theirs is called crafter's secret you know the real big balls of yarn um, ladies like to take those when they're working on afghans or if they're doing a large shawl they like that you know plain colors those kind of things but we noticed somewhere at the old price of $9.99 and some were at the new price, $11.99. So, yeah, the yarn there is going up. So, be forewarned if you go in to get some. And that is basically it for the Hobby Lobby portion. I do have a little bit more of a haul. And um, it has to do with fabric. Now, I was contacted by someone. And I don't know if she wants me to tell her name, so I'm not going to. To make a um, cross stitch project bag. And I have been planning on adding those to my sales to begin with. Um, I had already cut out some, and some of them would have the clear front, you know, window. Some won't. But um, she'd asked, told me a certain line that she was really enjoying. And it's Lori Holt's um, Be In My Bonnet series. And I happened to find this fabric. And as you can see, it's all done in cross stitch. So I will be making a couple of bags of that with this. And this just happened to be something I was looking for anyway, something for cross stitch. And uh, yeah, found it. And then I also found this lovely little fabric. And it's just got the yarn balls on it and it and flowers with a crochet hook. And it says, I crochet, therefore I swear. And I know some of us have done that before. And then I also got this because I just thought it was adorable. And these are just yarn balls to make some project bags. So that's it for that portion of the haul. Now, I also ordered some shirts that I saw. Saw an ad on Facebook for Gusto Shirt. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's adorable. I think I need it. So, you know, I thought about it and thought about it. And of course, if you look at the ad so that you can see what it is, then you start getting emails for it. So I did go back and I did order. And I am going to give you a little bit of the information about this company. Because when I got it, I did not realize that it is a company in China. But here is the shirt that I purchased.
and I did get a couple more shirts. Now I want you to notice the size that I ordered. You see that? 6XL. Now the reason I ordered that size is because in the back of my mind there was this niggling thing that kept saying you need to get it as large as possible because I didn't know whether it didn't say whether it was 100% cotton and it's not cotton. It is a um, DPP fabric. It's very stretchy. Okay? But <clears throat> this size 6L is not a true size for Americans. And the reason I always get them a little bit larger is because if they're cotton, they shrink up a lot. Guess what, folks? It took well over a month for this to get to me. And a lot of harassing my um, postal workers. Because the tracking that they send is a Chinese company tracking. And um, it said that it had been in the Lock Heaven Post Office since the 13th of June. That's exactly one month after I ordered it. So, what I'm telling you is, Monday afternoon, no, Tuesday afternoon, I stopped in to ask him about it. You know, I said, this is the only tracking number I have. There is no UPS, you know, USPS tracking number. They don't provide one. But it says it's here in this facility. And it has been since the 13th. So, they went looking. And they couldn't find it right off the bat. So she said, well, we'll look a little bit later and see if we can find it, you know, when things slow down. No problem. The next day it was delivered. And um, I had taken some things to the post office. And my postmaster said to me, um, it was inside another big package that just said, Lock Haven USPS and we hadn't opened it because we weren't our, we didn't order anything. And inside of it they had a lot of packages to be distributed in Lock Haven. So that's what happened with that. But the sizes are not true true American sizes. This is not a 6L. It is the equivalent of about a 2XL, to be honest. Um, when I did put it on, it's skin tight, which is not the reason I purchased the 6L to begin with. I expected it to be loose so that when I washed it and it shrunk up, it would still fit loosely, that kind of thing. But it is pretty skin tight. So I just wanted you to, to warn you that if you are purchasing something from the company on Facebook, Gusto Shirts... Uh, beware of that. It's they run very small very small So I'm sure that's a 6L in China But it's not in the US So uh, yeah, I thought I would tell you that so that you could be forewarned I've been getting out the Halloween fall fabric to start making bags um, have quite a few cut, just got to get them sewn, that kind of thing. Um, the table that I have currently that I am using has to be replaced. Um, one of the legs has an issue, and it is one of those folding lifetime camping tables. You know, like it's like four foot, a little over four foot. Um, and it has some issues with one of the legs that needs to be fixed. So I have to, have to order a new table for this room for my cutting and that kind of thing. So that's going to be real interesting trying to put it together. I've put things together by myself. I've put two stand, sit, stand up, working, rolling carts together by myself. So... 
I can do this too. It's just an issue of getting this table out, getting things moved out so that I can get enough room to put it together. So, that should be interesting. Anyway, just thought I'd come on here, give you a few things, tell you a little bit about the uh, fabrics that I got. Looking forward to getting those cut later on this afternoon. And I hope the rest of you have a beautiful day today. And remember to choose kindness as always. And love one another. Not only that, but get out there and see this big beautiful world we live in. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.